Today I thought I'd make a quick video. This is basically a response video, a response to a viewer question actually. I got a question from one of my followers over on Mastodon. You guys know Mastodon is my social network of choice. If you're not following me over on Mastodon, you should. Over on Mastodon I got this question, a, a private message, so, so I won't share the name here. DT, I use Qtile, now my window manager of choice, but I'm interested in Xmonad. But how do I use a SysTray in Xmonad? Can you do a video about a system tray in Xmonad? How to use a SysTray? Or how do you use a system without a SysTray? GNOME by default doesn't have a SysTray. Question mark. Okay, so this is an interesting question. So many minimal lightweight window managers like Xmonad, uh, like Openbox, and many, many others do not come with a panel by default because they don't have a panel built in they don't have a sys tray built in either. Sys trays are usually built into panels. So Xmonad, and you guys remember me living in Openbox for a long time. Openbox is the same way. It doesn't have a panel by default. You have to install some third-party panel. The most common panel to install in Xmonad is Xmobar. Xmobar is written in Haskell. It's light, fast. Uh, most of the Xmonad documentation assumes the panel you're going to be using is Xmobar, but it is a separate program. Xmobar is separate from Xmonad. You install Xmobar on its own because not everybody wants a panel. Uh, and I really like that aspect of Xmonad. I think uh, in a lot of ways they follow the suckless philosophy a little more than DWM did because DWM had a panel built in which makes no sense because a lot of people again don't use a panel with their window manager I see a lot of people the the guy that messaged me is asking how do you live without a sys tray I see a lot of people running open box desktops especially but also tiling window managers like i3 and xmonad without panels a lot of people use their window manager their desktop with no panels at all. I personally, I like having a panel, but I have a three monitor system. I have a triple monitor set up because I have so many monitors. I like having a panel so I know exactly what workspace is on what monitor, especially when using a tiling window manager like Xmonad because of the way it handles multi monitors. Each monitor is a different workspace so it helps having panels on all the monitors but most people most computer users are single monitor users and if I was a single monitor user would I need this panel no I, I wouldn't need this panel I mean the panel tells me what workspace I'm on well if I only have one monitor I know what workspace I'm on I purposely went to that workspace I mean I had to hit a key binding to go to workspace 2 for example super 2 I know I'm on workspace 2 and I'm gonna remember that you know until I go to a different workspace I don't need the panel to remind me you know what workspace I'm on now, a lot of the other information like layout uh, I'm currently using the tall layout here in Xmonad you know that's the window layout do I really need that information? No. I mean, that's just kind of extra information. Uh, it, it'll be obvious what kind of window layout I'm using once I start opening windows. I don't need, really, I don't need the panel for anything. I would kind of miss the clock. But you know what? I could probably just put some conky information on the desktop if I really wanted the time or I could check out my phone or watch or whatever. So you don't really need a panel. Sys trays are usually built into the panel, and that's where you get uh, programs that are opened up basically by your system those are the programs you didn't open up usually so those are the things like the network manager automatically launches on startup and it gets placed in your system tray uh, sometimes you get like a keyboard layout manager that gets placed there things like if, if you got dropbox auto starting you know the dropbox icon is usually sitting in the sys tray but those programs are not programs you launched and they're not programs you you're gonna need access to very often uh, so you don't I mean how often do you go to your network manager icon if it's sitting in a sys tray or keyboard layout or your clipboard tool or whatever sitting in that sys tray not very often right so do you really need that sys tray uh, do you can get those programs open without having an icon sit in that sys tray anyway I mean Dropbox for example Dropbox has a sys tray icon I use Dropbox I never need that sys tray icon the only thing that sys tray icon does for me is uh, I mean I can 
start and stop Dropbox, or I can tell Dropbox to start syncing. But you know what? I can do that at the command line. I can just open up a terminal and do all of that. Uh, a quick man Dropbox, you know, read the man page for Dropbox, and pretty much anything you could have done in that SysTray, you can do anyway uh, at the terminal. So, and it's again, these SysTray programs are usually programs you're not accessing very often at all anyway so you absolutely can live without a sys tray you absolutely can live without a panel most people can uh now that being said most people are going to want a panel most people are going to want a sys tray so how do i get a sys tray here in xmonad with xmobar well there is a third party program called trayer and that's what i'm going to install today let me show you so let's take a look at the GitHub page for Trayer just briefly. Trayer, uh, this is a Trayer SRG, which is a Trayer fork with multi-monitor support, cleaned up code base, and other fancy stuff. Even though it says Trayer-SRG and it's a Trayer fork, uh, when you actually go to install it or execute it, and it's something like an Arch-based distro like today, I'm on Manjaro, it's just Trayer. That's how you install it. You just sudo pacman-syu Trayer. Uh, it says Trayer is a lightweight GTK2 based system tray for the Unix desktop and it gives you some information, some options, some flags uh, for whenever you launch it, if you're launching it in a terminal. So how do I get Trayer to run in Xmonad? Well, first I need to open up my Xmonad config. So let me open up my config. I had that key binded. So let me zoom in here and you will see in my xmonad config somewhere in my xmonad config i have auto start right here you see i have my startup hook equals do and then spawn once spawn once means on startup launch these programs one time the urxvt daemon in case i want to use urxvtc as my terminal right now i'm using st as my terminal of choice though but i still have urxvt daemon in my startup hook I also have nitrogen starting on startup. Nitrogen is what draws the wallpaper on the screen, so it sets my wallpaper when I log into Xmonad. Compton is the compositor. It's what gives me nice transparency and shadowing and, you know, nice graphical goodness. And then the last thing I have here is spawn once, execute user slash bin slash trayer. So that's basically running trayer. So if you were opening up a terminal and you wanted to launch Trayer, you would, you know, just, well, you could just type Trayer, but the full path to it would be, you know, execute user uh, slash user slash bin slash Trayer. And it says another sys tray is already running. Why? It's because I already have Trayer running on a different monitor than the one I'm capturing. So that's why it didn't launch it. But Anyway, execute Trayer, and then I gave it these flags here. Now, you can read the man page, you can read the help, you can read the GitHub page to figure out exactly what these do. Just know, basically, I'm going to draw a kind of small area, the exact same height and the exact same color as my XMO bar up here, and it's going to have a sys tray. It's going to have some icons. So this monitor here is my first monitor, my far left monitor. This is a monitor I don't usually record. I usually record my second monitor, the middle of my three monitors. But on my far left monitor, this is where I have an instance of XMOBAR running and a instance of Trayer running. Uh, it's hard to tell where XMOBAR st starts and stops and where Trayer begins because Trayer basically just sits on top of xmo bar i've got it set same height same background color so it's kind of hard to tell uh, obviously i have what's vlc running but if i quit vlc uh, there's nothing sitting in trayer right now so you couldn't even tell that was trayer if i open up a terminal here i could kill all xmo bar and actually show you uh, trayer so there is trayer you see that space there the last, you know, couple hundred pixels or whatever, that was Trayer. That was an XMO bar. That's the sys tray. Uh, if I wanted to, I could start an LX session so you can actually see all the stuff that is actually sitting in my sys tray if I actually was running a sys tray. 
um, there you go. So I started LX session and you can see I get, you know, system notifications, email notifications. I've got mega sync, uh, syncing. I've got the network manager. I have Pac-Man or Pamac, uh, telling me about system updates. I never use the graphical package manager on Manjaro or any distro. I never use graphical package managers. I always do everything at the command line. Again, another reason why I don't need a system tray. I'm not really ever using any of this stuff. I even Megasync, I, I use Megasync, but I don't need to use Megasync here in the sys tray. I can just open up a terminal to start and stop and sync. You know, I can, I don't. So do you need a sys tray? No, you don't. But if you want one, there you go. A uh, trayer. Let me go ahead and restart Xmonad so my Xmo bar is here again. And you see, trayer just is sitting on top of Xmo bar. Uh, and of course, you can play with the uh, placement where it actually sits on the bar. You can adjust the height, the background color to match your panel perfectly. So what I think I'm going to do is, as soon as I'm done uh, recording and editing this video and uploading it to YouTube. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and push my Xmonad config to my GitLab page so you guys can just see what I did in my Xmonad config. Matter of fact, let me pull it up one more time before I end the video. I don't need CalCurse open. Anyway, so my Xmonad config again somewhere in your Xmonad config you probably have a part of the config dedicated to auto starting programs and you just need to auto start uh, Trayer and give it whatever flags, whatever width you want to use, whatever height, whatever background. That's all you need. So pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm sure you could probably find some wiki information out there about something like Treyer. I bet Arch or Gentoo probably has a wiki page de uh, dedicated to some of these standalone system trays like Treyer. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. They are the producers of the show. They're my highest tier patrons over on Patreon. Without those guys, I wouldn't be doing this show. I wouldn't be able to share really cool and interesting free and open source software like Treyer with you guys without Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Douglas, Dylan, Leo, Rob, Robert, and Tony. The show was also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the, sc the screen. Those are the supporters of this channel. They help support my work over on Patreon. You'd like to support the channel. Please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.